1.8 kilograms. His record as a professional, 19 wins and a single loss. 13 of those 19 wins coming within the distance. He boxes in the black trunks with red trim. Currently rated number seven by the WBA from the DRC, but now fighting out of Revelon, France. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Le Casino Monte Carlo, Yuri El Toro Kalinga. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this WBA interim cruiserweight contest is co-promoted by Golden Gloves and Sourland Promotions. Out of the red corner on my right, he weighed in at 90.0 kilograms. As a professional, 32 wins, 23 of those 32 wins by way of knockout. He has just a single loss. He boxes in the black trunks with white trim. He hails from Wrocław in Poland, currently rated at number six by the WBA. The former WBC Youth World Champion, former IBO Intercontinental Champion, and the former EBU Cruiserweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, from Poland, Mateusz, the master, Masternak. Listen to me, obey my instructions. Touch him up. Piotr Wilczewski among those in the corner with Masternak. You might remember he gave uh, James DeGale one of his more awkward nights. Yuri Kalenga, Chris Sanagar among his helpers in the corner, managed by Gary Hyde, the Irishman who also looks after the career of, well, one of the best fighters in the world, unquestionably, Guillermo Rigondo. Kalenga can bang, Barry. <laughs> Just a bit, John. I know Masnet got a little bit of a nasty punch in him as well, but Kalenga is, for me, the bigger puncher in this, in this contest. Stopped Harry Miles in eight rounds back in December. Miles, who we saw on Box Nation, taking Masternak the distance back in 2012. And Miles done well, didn't he, Masternak? You know, in the, especially in the, first, in the first few rounds, really giving him a lot of trouble. Masternak, I seem to remember, Barry, against Drozd. He wasn't a particularly hard target to get to. If Kalenga gets to him and gets to him with his real power shots, we could be in for an explosive finish here. Well, Masternak, Masternak's good. He's a good fighter. You know, he's technically quite good. He doesn't make many mistakes too much, but he has no lateral movement. And that was, against against Drozd, that was the biggest problem. Drozd was a little bit more, more mobile, you know, different angles, and, and that a little bit too much for him, and obviously with the nasty cut as well, John. And Kalenga... His nickname, El Toro, the bull. Throws great big hooks, loves to wing in those shots. Power in that left hook, and already a bit of reddening to the face of Masternak. That's what Masternak has to do, that's a vital importance, is establishing that jab. Every time Kalenga makes a, makes, even makes a little slight move, he's got to pop that jab in his face, keep him resetting. Let someone like Kalenga get some mo momentum going forward, you're in trouble. Kalenga's won his last three inside the distance, you can see why. Had a one-round knockout last week, last year, but then by way of contrast to that, he lost to a pretty ordinary Latvian when he was just outboxed over the distance. Oh dear. <laughs> started somewhere over France. It was crude, but you can see that sort of punch landing on Masternak, who's very upright, isn't he? Again, no, I said no lateral movement. He keeps his hands up nice and high. You can see if he throws a lazy jab, Kalenga hits that right hand go, he could be in all sorts of trouble. Well, Kalenga's certainly landing the power shots in this opening round. Well, Masternak doing that, no, he's keeping, trying to keep it nice and tight, but a little bit... You've got, to, you've got to give Kalenga something just to stop him in his tracks. Yeah, he's doing a deal, is he? And Kalenga unloading here. Just as well, Masternak kept up a nice high guard. On his last fight, Kalenga over in Dublin. And Caesar David Krentz, third round knockout. Big body shot again. Good opener this for the Frenchman. Yeah, really good round there for Kalenga. 
just kept that pace going, didn't he? Just kept he kept the momentum going forward, didn't take a backward step, and Masterleck, even though being defensively minded, didn't do enough to keep keep Kalenga away. And a good round there for Kalenga. There you see the power shots going in from Kalenga. And Masternak, sure he's anticipated the fast start. But he was certainly under pressure. Second round coming up. As the night lights of Monaco begin to shine. Looking across to a big open air disco over there. Jimmy's, which is about the most expensive nightclub in Europe, I say, from a sort of fairly horrific personal experience. <laughs> Masternak needs to be a bit more. I know he's, he's worried about throwing that jab. He's worried about leaving the leaving the jab out there and then and Kalenga counter. But he needs to have a solid jab. He needs to step in behind that jab. You've got a feeling if Kalenga can put, put Kalenga anywhere near on the back foot, he's, he's not half a fighter. He's not really throwing his jab with a great deal of authority, is he? Though there's a real tentative look about Masternak at the moment, kind of hoping that Kalenga's going to blow himself out maybe that straight right got through the guard yeah the couple got through there didn't they well that's a problem because you're tentative with the jab you think you're being safe but actually it's slower coming back because you're, you're, you're wary of letting it go properly so you, you lose a bit of sharpness on it he needs to really step in behind it Masnack is a better fight than himself on the front foot as we've seen in the past Masnack's had a couple of fairly low-key wins since that defeat in the European title last October this for him though to get his career back on track he really needs to look good here. And at the moment, well, it's not certainly going according to script. No, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but until he establishes that jab, he's not going to get any combinations off. He's not going to get any work. You know, he's, he's not a guy to throw punches in bunches as, as it is. So those single shots are not going to keep Kalenga away. And you know, he's not going to pot shot his way either. Is Masternak. So he, at the moment, he's, what he's doing, that was a decent jab there, what he's doing is not going to be enough. Kalanga did throw a lot though in that opening round, and I just wonder whether he is kind of got the self discipline to keep him going over that period, but he wants uh, over the championship distance. But if he gets in with a big right hand like that, well, it might be curtains for Masternak well before that. Good right hand there for Mastek. Not good bit of timing, but had to take one back himself. The first solid, real solid shot, Mastanak's land. A couple of jabs have got through in this round, but that's the first of those right hands, which arguably is his best shot, which has got through. Bit of a telegraph there, that, that right hand of Kalenga. Sort of seeing a mile off. That okay, came from a mile back, but it got through. <laughs> And the left hook there with Masnek trying to spin off. Crowds love to see a puncher, don't they? Even the uh, besuited, bow-tied elite that we've got here in Monaco. Well, it's that air of excitement, that air that, you know, one of those crew shots lands clean and, you know, you could see something, something spectacular, but... For me, another good round for Kalenga, which is bullying. William Masnek round the ring. Masnek landed a few more shots than he did in the first, you know. Cut the sharp right hands, but not enough. Nowhere near enough. Jotr Wilczewski, the trainer, giving the orders now. Shots taken earlier on of the... Uh, of the, some of the yachts in the harbour. Main bout coming up. A little bit later on, with St. Helens' favourite Martin Murray up against the Ukrainian Max Bursak. Murray hoping to line up another world title later in the year. Very good, very good from Chris Sanagar. Joe Kimp Vanny, the guy giving the other advice. 
And what a great career Chris Hannigan's had, not just in the ring, but as a trainer, a manager. He has been all over the place, hasn't he? And great to see him back in good health. He had his yeah. cancer problems a year or two back, and uh, he's a hard guy, is uh, Chris Sanagar, and uh, a good man as well. He was in my corner when I won the world title, you know, Chris. Was he really? Yeah, he wasn't my trainer, but yeah, he came in and come in and helped out, which was invaluable. I guess I should have known that. I still owe him, actually. <laughs> he'll not, he'll not hold us <laughs> in that one. Kalanga again, bullying Masternak back. Masternak just trying to keep a, a tight guard. But it's a bit of a high-risk strategy. But the thing, but that, that rigid style, you know, that we just call it that Eastern European style, that rigid style, technically quite good, you know, they land clean punches and, they, and they're heavy-handed without being spectacular punches. But against an unorthodox fighter, a roll-on fighter like Kalenga, with a with good natural movement, it causes problems. It's better from Masternak, needs more of that. That's a good jab. Kalenga being such a long puncher, you know, all the power's at the end of that shot. You need to, if anything, smother, smother the power of the punch. So you need to step forward behind your punches. Berlin Marsh, the Kiwi referee, suggesting that uh, that swinging right hand of Kalenga had come around the back. A little bit harsh, I think. Again, yeah, Masnek too tentative with the jab, just touching. Touching the opponent. They've done the homework on Kalenga, surely. They'll have seen him fight uh, Artus Kilikowskis, that Latvian I was telling you about, and they've seen that he can be outboxed. And they've got to kind of try and ride out the storm. Is the storm just starting to dissipate a little here in the third? No. <laughs> no again, a long left hook and a, and a straight right hand on the pipe there from Kalenga. And, well, Master next, he can be outboxed, Kalenga. It's good work on the ropes. But by a fleet-footed boxer, Masnek is not one of those. He's, he's, he's flat-footed, he, you know, he digs his feet to the canvas and he, he lugs the front box off the front foot. If anything, the boxing skills appear to lie with Kalenga. Well, he's the looser of the fight. There's lovely left hook there, though, to the, to the body there for Masnek and a sharp right-hand counter. Needs more. He's got to find a way to put Kalenga into reverse. That's two shots in a round, which prior to that, and another couple of good right hands from Kalenga, the heavy-handed African-born Frenchman has dominated. Oh, he's had a tremendous start, hasn't he, Kalenga? Three out of three for me, this barrier, it's oh. got to be. You know, the dogs, you know, the only thing Masinek can take out of this is that he's, he's landed a few more punches in each round as, as they've gone on, more in the second, even more in the third. But Kalenga has bossed everything so far for me. Glorious setting here in Monaco. With the rich and the famous gathered. And some of the referees and officials there. Well-known Belgian referee Daniel van der Veel on the back on the back row there with the green shirt and the glasses. Been around for donkey's years now, Daniel has. underway in round four three out of three now in this interim WBA cruiserweight title fight we've given to the Frenchman Yuri Kayembe Kalenga moved to Paris when he was ten years old born in the Republic of Congo and again with the long left hook and straight right hand there from Kalenga that's a combination that he hasn't failed with so far every time he throws it he lands clean I clearly fancy that they're gonna put Masternak away here I think they think that one of these big shots could put the pole down. Well, Masanek's trying to keep a nice tight defence, you know, but I think the momentum and the power of Kalenga is punching through the guard. <laughs> That's a 
decent right hand this time gets through from Masternak. But only the single shot. But as you said earlier, John, you know, has put a lot of work in in these early rounds. You know, if he can keep this going, you know, you would suspect from what we've seen so far, he's on his way for a win, but... It's an, it's an if, isn't it? Yeah, he can he's, he's loading up so much on his shots. And he hasn't got Masternak out of there yet. And we're here in the fourth, and surely he can't sustain this sort of intensity for 12 rounds. And mouth just starting to drop open a little here in the fourth. Maybe feeling the effects of the own fierce pace that he's setting. That's the right hand left hook off the ropes here for Masternak. in some ways he's doing the right thing he's keeping very tight defense you know he knows that any of those big overhand rights or, or long left hooks can can hurt him but not doing enough of that a lot of support for boxing and for Masternak of course over in Poland Wroclaw where Vitaly Klitschko fought Thomas Adamek a few years back Big shots from Kalenga. It's everything, isn't it? the quality and the quantity all, is all coming from, from Kalenga. Hey, Powerful, hey, well okay, muscled okay. African. One more. Let's go. Hey, hey. Bag for Kalenga, all right. Another clear round again. again Masnek having a little bit more success in each round yet again, but still not enough. Too economical. If your O-level French is holding up. You maybe get a little bit of that. Just showing some good work there from Masternak, but it was few and far between for me. It's all the all the quality of work and all the all, and the work rate in general was all was all Kalenga. GCSEs, of course, for younger viewers. He's got a problem, this fella. It, it's, I still, I know I say it all the time, but it's that jab. If you don't, if you can't establish a solid jab against Kalenga, I, I can't see how he can win this fight unless he gets lucky. If he can, if he can establish a good jab, you know he's got the skills, he's got the, the clean boxing to, to do some good work. And what he's trying to do, I think he's trying to conquer Kalenga. Usually he takes a little half a lean back and throws that right hand, but because Kalenga throws it in threes usually. And the moment, the sheer momentum of his of his power brings him forward. And those little counter punches doesn't don't work for for Masternak. Well, they're not working at the moment. Come on, guys, come on, come on, come on. Let's see here, eh? Let's see. Let's go. Maybe his chance will just come if Kalenga slows a little. How good is the Frenchman's conditioning going to be? Right hand round the back, and he's taking a point this time. No, he's not. He's. Uh, Riding a fairly dangerous route though, Kalenga. There was a right hand which came around the back. He's already been warned for that, and I thought for a moment that the New Zealander, the referee, was looking to take a point. Yeah, but, but Kalenga, I mean, Kalenga was right. He had sort of complained that Masnek sort of turning, doing that little turn, you know, almost turning his back on his opponent. Oh, good shot. Nice, solid right hand that was, and Masnek showing his strength though and his conditioning by pushing Kalenga off. But still, it's poor for me from, from Masternet. Getting caught with a straight right hand on the middle is something that a, te a good technical fighter like himself shouldn't be getting caught with. The looping right hand, he's not used to that sort of stuff, but a straight right hand on the middle, he should be seeing that coming. If he doesn't do something soon to turn this around, Masternak is going to get beat here. He's heading for a second defeat because Kalenga, far from tiring, is taking inspiration from the fact that he is the one who's physically bossing this fight. It, it, but on about Kalenga tiring now, he's doing a, lot, doing a lot of work, throwing a lot of punches. Taking punches tires you as well, John. Really drains you taking a lot of shots. So 
still pulling with that jab. He's not really throwing it with authority. He's just touching. It's okay to touch if you're going to set something up. But touching as a as a range fighter against a, 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 a come forward fighter is not good enough. But if you just touch and every now and again step behind it, you know, you'll, you'll knock the head back at Kalanga. And maybe just take a, make him a little bit more wary of just coming forward. Because at the moment, he's full of confidence coming forward. Is Kalanga, and rightly so. Good jab as well from the African. Maybe I should be saying Frenchman. I'm sure he'd uh, happily respond to either description at the moment. Just the recognition that he's getting here because he's putting on a really good performance. Another solid right hand. Ten seconds, guys. Might not be uh, technically beautiful to look at. After that, gets in with a couple of right hands in the last ten seconds of that round. At last, finding the range, but a little bit too late. It's been a clean sweep for me so far for Kalenga. Again, Mass is having a few successes, and you've seen at the end of that round, touching with a jab and then throwing the right hand, and it worked. But, but for too much in the round, he's just been touching with a jab and doing nothing else with it. 12 round fight, and we've got him five down, Mastanak. Well, even if the. It's, it's, sometimes you go quality over quantity, or, or vice versa, but it's all coming from Kalenga. The work rate is all his. And the quality of the shots that are landing are more, more, more than not coming from Kalenga. Just wanted to throw that extra shot, isn't he, in the, in the exchanges. Okay, Sixth round. 26 year old Yuri Kayamba Kalenga is ahead in this fight by a long way at the moment, the way we're seeing it. Oh, good right hand again. throwing that double jab so where Masnek is maybe looking to counter throw a single jab he may be able to do it but the double jab when Kalenga throws it just keeps Masnek in his shell for me it's been an inspiring performance so far from Kalenga real opportunity to seize the place in the limelight for a fairly unheralded Frenchman Took right hand there from Astonek. A lot of interest in the cruiserweight division, of course, as blood starts to seep from the nose of Mastanek. A lot of interest in the cruiserweight division across Europe. Johan Hablo, Pablo Hernandez, Denis Lebedev, Shunov's moved up to the cruiserweight division now. Vlodicic, Marco Hook, of course, preeminent. A lot of big names there. And a lot of big fights potentially for the winner of this one. The Masnek trying to dog it out a little bit, but still, for me, still coming second best. <laughs> and for me, Masnek looking a little bit tired as well. You know, obviously, Kalenga done a lot of work, but Masnek's not looking too fresh. And again, the double jab of of Kalenga, it's not, it's not a, a devastating score in points, but it's just keeping Masanek in his shell, allowing Kalenga to get that right hand in the play. Kalenga just looking a bit more laboured though now here in this sixth round, Barry, just uh, struggling to maintain the sort of the pace that he produced earlier on. Maybe not surprising, that's a good body shot from Masanek, could hit him with a nice straight right prior to it. Yeah, the first time then Masanek spanned him and he had Kalenga with his back to the ropes, but not capitalising on it for me. So, Master again landed him some, some good punches in the round, in this round also, but Ten seconds. not enough to see the work rate again from Kalenga. Well, that's a closer round. It's not as emphatic as the earlier one, certainly. No. 
but still, still a, a role for Kalenga for me. I think he's starting off really fast. Mastek came into it a little bit, but Mastek got a lot to do now. We really got to, you know, we're going to see what sort of fight that he is right now because he, he's coming from a landslide down and he needs more than just winning these next six rounds. I think he needs something else, something big. Bit of a big job when you have to get the decorators in, isn't it? And there's the outside of this magnificent building on the main square in Monaco. That's the casino. Tucks required and a sizable bank balance. If you want to live here, it goes without saying, it is not the cheapest. Once upon a time, Charles, Charles de Gaulle and France used to disapprove of Monaco. Now they take a, a kind of a friendly look at their uh, slightly decadent neighbour. Look at that, Kalenga comes straight though. Bang with the jab, straight away. Right takes the centre of the ring. Exactly what Masnek should be doing. Now, we're talking like Mas Masnek's a good fighter. You know, he's a really good fighter. He's technically very good. Just hasn't shown it for me tonight at all. Been hustled. Out of, the, out of the work. Just allowed Kalenga to come forward. You know, Kalenga's done good to come forward, but Mastek hasn't put no obstacles in his way to stop him. Mastek managed to ride most of that attack. Of course, Albert having his card marked. the pace is slow this is where Masternek should be should be getting some quality work in and technically quite good is Masternek you know conventionally technically quite good and but the slower pace should suit him and we're looking to whip that right hand over like that a nice little sharp right hand there good shot and again and at last Masternek having a bit of success as Kalenga predictably is starting to slow and maybe just starting to tire a little. Again, this, still for me, Masnet, no, he's having a good round so far, but this is where he should still be you know, pushing Kalenga back when he has the chance. Don't give an opportunity to get any rests and amount any sort of attack. Apologise about the uh, slightly unconventional camera angles that you're having from this overhead uh, camera. Techniques beyond our control. And the attack there, the Kalenga just a little bit, bit more laboured than it has been, and that's why you missed with those shots. And so far, this roll mass make a cleaner work. Giving him the edge, and again, I get that right hand over the top landing. It's been his best round by a long way, this Barry. Yeah, but it hasn't been by his design, it's been by Kalenga slowing down. And riding the right hand there, Masternek, to his credit. Uh, Kalenga really has a laboured look now. And he's throwing single shots where he's throwing punches in groups. Ten seconds. Much better round for the pole. Yeah, it's been a good round for Emily being on golf box and just picked the shots there at of, of range. Kalenga starting to flail away and looking mighty tired there as Chris Sanagar applies the spray. He's going to have to dig deep. Well, he's worked so hard, hasn't he, Kalenga? You know, in, the, in the first six rounds, to give him a clean sweep for me up until the last round, which was a, a good round for Masnek and a round that he deserved to win. And a, psychologically a round that he really needed to get in the bank. Piotr Walczewski sensing that the tide is starting to turn if Masternak can maintain what he produced in this round. But again, as I said, I don't think it was it was a lot to do with Kalenga slowing down that more than Masternak taking any sort of uh, control over the fight. He's really looking he's really looking as though he's pushing his punches, wasn't he? They're not, yeah, not yeah. letting him go as fluently as he did earlier on. But Masnek still for me looking like the fighter who just lacks a little bit of confidence right now. It doesn't look like he wants to 
take this fight by the scruff of the neck. Into the eight. Masternak just joining us. The pole on the receiving end for the first half of this fight. But uh, Yuri Kalenga has taken a lot out of himself with the big attacks he had in the earlier stages. And Masternak has just had his best round, round seven. Again, giving away too much wrong there, Masternak. You know, he had the centre of the ring. Landed with a few jabs, he didn't need, didn't need to back away. Again, thrown from way back, that one big, long, speculative bowling shot. But coming off his straight line is, is, is a danger. When a guy throws a big looping, looping right hand, as Kalenga does, coming back in straight lines is danger. You've got to come back from a different angle. You've got to spin off the other opponent. A little bit like that. And he's getting round, getting through now with the right hand, Masternak. Yeah, they're seeing the punches there, nice little using the, the shoulders there and, and the forearms to block a couple of shots. Master Neck. Kalanga leaving himself open as he's winding up on these big single shots. Good body shots. Oh, lovely work there from Master Neck. At last showing a bit of quality. They're still happy just to pick up the single punches, isn't he, Master X? Not anything like as much in the in the punches of Kalanga as there were earlier in the fight, though. Even with a big, spectacular-looking left hand like that, up, it was kind of a, almost a pull by the time it reached, rather than a punch. Yeah, he's tired now. You can do he's tired because the accuracy and the and the distance of the punches is not quite right. Gary Hyde, his Irish manager in the corner, trying to rouse Kalenga. Lovely jab there from, from Masnay, that's what he needs there, just stop Kalenga in his tracks. Masternak's winning this round as well, Barry. Yeah, it's a good round here for Masternak. Kalenga, to his credit, is still trying to come forward, but because he's in a tie, I said, oh, good right hand, though. <laughs> kind of a swinging shot, though, isn't it? Well, they're the dangerous ones, but they need to be nice and long. You know, I think you, when that big right hand, you either got to spin off or come in and almost commit to then it come over the top of you. And you lean back and catch the end of that punch, and it, it's possibly good night. Saw that overhand right from uh, Marcus Maidana give Mayweather one of his most awkward nights, didn't we? Remember Dennis yeah, Andrews yeah. a few years back as well. He used to throw a few wild shots. Oh, my God, he was a hard man. Good round for Masternak. Yes, and finish it well, most importantly as well. Go back to your corner, finish it around well is psychologically a huge, a huge boost. You could still slip away from Kalenga. 12 rounds can be a marathon, and we're getting round now towards those championship rounds. Eight completed. And Masternak, despite that right hand, which was kind of a cuffing blow rather than a clean punch. Yeah, but it, it, usually you commit with it and he'd be a, a nice fluent swing in motion. That, as you, as you as you rightly said, was been more of a push in the punch. Lovely little left hook there. So he just started the right hand on the centre, his master neck, and whipped that left hook round the back. Showed some good quality, the quality that we've seen in the past for master neck, and he produced a bit in that round. Main event coming up later on, immediately after this one. And great British interest, of course, in Martin Murray. Came so close to winning world titles against Felix Sturm and against Sergio Martinez and maybe being lined up for a third world title event, uh, attempt if he can come through impressively tonight. He needs to win and win well. Well, is Kalenga starting to look spent or has he just been regrouping? knowing that he's got to dig deep in these closing rounds we'll see well, he started the last round off fast and then faded really quickly and he started this round off fast again but he'll get a second win at some point will Kalenga, and he'll need it as well but he put so much work into the first six rounds and you know and, and tremendous work and you know and win every round starting to redden visible testimony to the fact that the jab is starting to become a very much more telling punch for masternak
again, you can see Kalenga clearly, clearly tired, but Masnek doesn't want to commit again, still doesn't want to commit with anything. Has that slightly frustrating robotic air about him, doesn't he? Yeah, good little right hand there, nice clean right hand. He doesn't go through the gears? No, not at all, he doesn't. He's very one pace in everything he does, methodically does his work. And when he's allowed to, it, it, it's, it's good work and quality work. Nice little right hand there, back from Kalenga. Yeah, beat him to the punch, didn't he? He was trying to tee, size him up for the jab. Masternak and never got the chance. Well, this is the wrong way. Masternak should have been dominating everything. Good That's right better. Hand and a left hook and a right hand back. Kalenga showing that he's not just aggressive, that he can also take a shot. That was a solid right. Clean a punch there. It was from, uh, from Masinek for me. It's an important round, this one, for both men, Barry. It's a very close round as well, John. It is. If Masinek has done enough to win this fight, this round, he can still get right back into it. If Kalenga has done enough to impress the judges, then he may be away with the fight. Left hand from Masternak, looked as though it was low, and another one. Blind side of the referee. Closest round of the fight so far, this one. Yeah, it really is. Aggression from Kalenga. Maybe more punches, maybe more accuracy from Masternak. Hard one to score. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't argue either way. I've just gone for, for Masternak. For me, I think, I think just a slightly cleaner work. But I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't have any argument if it went, went Kalenga's way. Maybe a level one. You never know. You don't often get them, but... Peter Wilczowski knows. He knows that it's on the line and that Masternak needs to take everything from here on in to have a chance of turning this around. A lot of those punches were missing, but he is being seen by the judges to be yeah, the aggressive. Course, yeah. and, and he's, he's happy to throw five or six if, if one gets to, or even possibly two. And, and that, that's not a bad thing because no, the whole perception is that you're doing all the work. Udu and Gumbu beat Johnny Muller, the uh, South African favourite in the opening fight of the night, a 10-round light heavyweight contest. And Gumbu, 32-year-old, slightly unfancied fighter, doing enough to win it. Masenak bringing that chopping right hand home. Little sharp left hook there on the ropes as well from Masternak. He's got a, on my card, Barry, he's got to win all three, Masternak, to have a chance of coming out of this, even with a draw. Yeah, same with me, same here, John. He's, he's the next two long, he's a knockdown for me to win the fight. Desperation about Kalanga, who threw everything into that, co committed himself and was hopelessly out of position, but Masternak just couldn't find the shot to make him pay for it. Keep him up. Keep and him and up. that might be the difference if this fight goes to points and, and Kalanga does get the decision. That'll be the that'll be the difference that he put everything on the line. He committed himself, totally committed himself. Where Masternak, I know he's a technical boxer and technical bosses don't just go hell for leather, but. At some point in the fight, you have to, you know, you have to commit a little bit more than the Masternak has. Kalanga's certainly shown plenty of heart here. Being all boxed again for me in this round. Picked off by the jab. Yeah. But it's still not the jab that I would that I would be asking for. Good right hand there from Kalanga. No, it's still not that step forward solid jab that if I was in the corner with Masternak, I would be demanding that. Even more so now, Kalenga is tired. And you want to be inside those long looping punches of Kalenga. You don't want to be on the end of them. So stepping forward with that jab will go a long way in doing that. How much, though, is left in the tank of the Frenchman? Still got more than six minutes action remaining. 
and he looks absolutely dog tired to me. He does, and he's, he's done him some good shots again in this round, Kalenga. You know, he's made the wrong cross. He does, and he's, he's done him some good shots again in this round, Kalenga. You know, he's made the wrong cross. Ten seconds. And that's more to do with, with Mastanek's inability to up the pace. Swinging hooks again from Kalenga. Rough and ragged, untidy work, but finishing the fight on the front foot. Yeah, he did finish the fight on the front, finished the fight well, and he's put round, every, rather. In the round, yeah, sorry, the round. And he's put everything on the line, is Kalenga. But still, for me, I think Masnek's cleaner work in that round behind the jab. I think he just, he just again, nicked that round. On your card, Barry. Takes the last two, Masnek, and we've got a draw here, which you wouldn't have thought was possible when you were watching the early rounds unfold. No, we don't, but I think the, the ninth round in particular is it, at the moment might end up being the real pivotal round because that was that was a round that really could have gone either way this round was close but the ninth round especially was a round that really could have gone either way that's the big fight coming up martin murray in action as you see the casino Shot a little bit earlier on, it's dark outside now. Now this is where Kalenga needs our second win right now. This is this where he really needs to dig deep. Real surge of energy for three minutes. He's had the early flurries in the last uh, three or four rounds, but not been able to sustain it, with the exception of the ninth. Here we are in, l in round 11. But even if Masnek were to win these two rounds on my card, then it's a draw, but you still feel that Kalenga's won the fight, don't you? You know, the, you know, the, the work, the tremendous work he's done, the commitment he's had, he you know, hasn't stopped coming forward. And it hasn't been totally uneducated work either. Some of it's been good quality work. It hasn't just been big swings and wild hooks. He's doubled up behind the jab. Perhaps guilty of head hunting a bit too much now. And that right eye just to close in a little bit there from of Kalenga. Good right hand. He has abs absolutely gone in there and given everything tonight against arguably a more talented opponent. He's done, well, if, from a trainer's perspective, I think Kalenga's done more than what you could ask for. You know, uh, if you were his trainer, you go, listen, you've, you've, you've left it all in the ring, son, and that's, and that's all we could ask. Well, that's all you're gonna ask from, from your fighter, is he just gives everything that he got. And Kalenga's certainly done that tonight. Shaking his head, trying to tell Masternak that his punches have got nothing in them. That right hand got through and gets a buzz of appreciation from the French corner. And vociferous applause from Gary Hyde, the Irish manager. And rightly so, but I think Kalenga's having, again, it's not, it's not a, a, a very exciting role, but I think Kalenga's having the better so, so far for me. Well, you said he had to dig deep and make one of these closing rounds arguably his and Kalenga despite being pushed back bullied back onto the ropes by Masternak has perhaps landed more punches in this 11th tough man's round this yeah. hard both guys having to really dig in nice little right sharp right hand there off off Masternak but again just too economical isn't he and even his, even his timing though is starting to suffer. Just throwing the right hand over the top of the head there of, of Kalenga. Ten seconds. Kalenga absolutely dog tired now. Manages to find something from somewhere to land. A couple of glancing blows in the final exchange. Another of those close rounds. The result of this fight is going to hinge on rounds like that one and the ninth. Who did you give that one to, Barry? Kalenga for me, John. I think he came out committed in, in from the first bell. And just kept it going. Just kept it going in that round. Though he was, they were both very tired. Masnek just too economical. He was technically quite good, too economical. And I think that might be his downfall. 
Well, Mastodek himself now, I think he has to just plant himself in the centre of that ring there and just keep throwing straight punches. Right down the, right down the middle there, the, those looping shots of, of Kalenga. Mastodek has to uh, somehow find for the first time in, uh, since we've seen him in Box Nation up the gear somehow. Keen students of form, those of you who pour over records will have perhaps picked up the error there. Suggestion in that graphic that you saw that Kalenga had won his last five fights. That's not the case. He had one off night when he was outboxed by a Latvian I was telling you about earlier, lost on points. But since then, he has come back with some spectacular stoppage victories. And that's created what is a terrific opportunity for him here. And on Barry's card, he has now provided he doesn't get stopped in this last round. He's done enough to take this interim WBA Cruiserweight title. Hugely committed performance, but Masternak, he's going to be coming away from this with still something left. You get the impression, look at him, that he could quite comfortably do another three or four rounds. Yeah, well, the way he boxes, they always, a lot of them box in, in, you know, in his part of the world. They're very economical, technically quite good but boxing at, at a methodical pace and when you're on top that's fine you wear people down but when you're not on top you have to sometimes be inspired and up the gears and get a bit of faster work rate so punches in punches sometimes to show a little bit more commitment and, and Masternak has needed that tonight but that tremendous start from Kalenga he took, he took a gamble starting so fast but it looks like for me that it's paid off has Masternak got one big right hand? Can he just tee Kalenga up for something spectacular to maybe, if they're seeing it the same we are, way we are, to maybe turn it around? Royal Entertainment. Well, to be honest, Kalenga is spent. He's absolutely spent. He's knackered right now. And Masternak, as tired as he is, doesn't look like he is knackered, and, but he can't put his foot on a pedal. He doesn't quite have the ability to maybe pull the trigger of Masternak and Kalenga speculatively winging in those hooks and a couple of those got through. Again it's been a nerve very very close round hasn't it and I think it's more you know, Kalenga just like just letting his arms go he hasn't got a clue he's, he's knackered and Masternak again just not wanting to take any risks. Masternak just needs to stand on him doesn't he surely go to war on him but he's never done that, it's not the way he fights, he's not, he's not in his makeup. Good fight though, this has been Barry. Oh, it's been really, really exciting, it's all been thanks to Kalenga, who's just shown utter commitment from the first bell in the first round up until the last. We wondered in that hurricane start whether he was going to blow himself out. Well that has turned out to be the way it's unfolded, but has Masternak, despite his maybe dominance of the second half of this fight has he done enough to close the gap after that whirlwind start of Kalenga Kalenga has given absolutely everything Masternak he thinks maybe he's done enough to claw his way back but you don't need me to tell you that that corner think that their man is a winner and for me he is John I think he boxed tremendous his first six rounds winning in the fight just give everything Masternak's inability to as you rightly said up the gears as, as cost in here really has and it was an inspiring performance from Kalenga really was and, and, and like I said as a, from a trainer's perspective that's all you can ask for the fight that he leaves everything in the ring and that's what Kalenga's done tonight the Sauerlands in the Masternak corner were hoping their man their man would come through and set up big fights in the future but Yuri Kayamba Kalenga oh, what a committed performance Perhaps the judges have seen it differently to the way we have. You never know. We've got an American judge, a Polish judge, and a Spanish judge. I think when, when Kalenga tired, I think the cleaner work in the, in the, in the latter half of the, the, the last six rounds was, was all from Masternak, who at a slower pace, a technically more gifted fighter, can, can have more success. That's lovely to see, isn't it, always? United in a terrific contest.
But for me, John, the most important rounds were the ninth round and the, and the eleventh round. I give the eleventh to, to Malenga, the Kalenga, sorry, which was enough to win in the fight. But that ninth round could have gone his way. But if you took, you twist those two around. Did you score the last one, Masternak? Yes, I did, yeah. I think Kalenga's just a little bit too wild, and Masternak, they'll pick them off if you like. So you've got it by a couple of points to Kalenga. Yeah, 115, 113, I got it to Kalenga, yeah. I certainly think he's done it. And I have to say, I agree. I think he would consider himself rather hard done to if somehow this points decision went against him, and I can't think that it's going to. Hard fight, and a very fair fight as well. We didn't see the referee having to make too many interventions. A couple of protests about punches around the back from Kalenga. But for the most part, the action kept flowing. Taking some time as they check on the judges. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Ahead of me reading the results, I think just a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Yuri Kalenga and Mateusz Masternak. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Madame Zinishia, we go to the scorecards and we have a split decision. Juge Juan Manuel Garcia Reyes scores the fight. 1 1 3, 1 1 5, Masternak. <laughs> Juge Raul Caiz from the United States scores the fight. 1 1 6, 1 1 2, Kailanga. The third and telling score from Poland, Juj Pavel Kardinyi scores the fight 1-1-5, 1-1-3. In favor of the winner on a split decision from Gravelin France, Yuri El Toro Kalinga. Well, justice done there, I think. And I'm sure he must have been worrying when it went to the Polish judge's card. And fair play to him. The Polish judge, Barry, has given it to Kalenga. Yeah, and I'm right to win, and it would have been an injustice if he didn't win. Even though I only had it by two points, so there was all, all the clear rounds won were won by Kalenga, and, and he deserves that win, and what a great, inspiring performance by him. Split decision, but we reckon over here a deserved winner, and the new WBA interim title holder, Yuri Kayamba Kalenga.